how frustrating it is when you've just landed on a web page and you try to click on a certain element, but just before you do, an ad or something else loads on top of it, and you end up clicking that thing instead. That is a layout shift. My name is Lazar Nikolov and I'm a developer advocate at Sentry. In this video, I'll explain what CLS is and what causes it. Let's dive in. Layout shifts can be measured, and the formula is pretty simple. It is the multiplication of the impact fraction with the viewport distance fraction. The formula looks like this. CLS equals impact fraction times viewport distance fraction. This is what percentage of the viewport got affected. This is how far the unstable element moved between two animation frames. We represent these values as decimal numbers between 0 and 1. And what is a good score? It's really low, like less than 0.1 low. As you can see, the lower the score is, the better it is. Bear in mind that what you see in your Chrome DevTools is not going to be the actual CLS score in production. Outside factors like device performance and internet speed affect the score. To keep an eye on what the actual CLS score is, you need to implement tools like Sentry in your app. What else you'll be getting? Other performance metrics and web vitals and also crash reporting. So what causes CLS? Loading external fonts cause CLS. Loading large images cause CLS. Ads cause CLS. Embeds and iframes without dimensions cause CLS. You can see a pattern here. Anything that's being dynamically loaded without its dimensions known beforehand can cause CLS. And how can you fix that? I'm gonna leave that for another video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching.